Can you aim these other is like camps out here, man? Like Nate. Okay, it's obviously us. It says rejoice and be exceeding, exceeding glad, for great is your reward in heaven. For so persecuted they the prophets which were before you. Okay, we're just living the lives of, of the prophets, the disciples before us, man. Okay. We're going through those exact same things. And the time that we're heading into is, is, is going to, you know, get darker, man. Okay. As we get closer and closer to the end, man, things are only going to get worse, man. Okay, we understand this. Okay, so we don't marvel the fact that, you know, you're playing your role. Okay, we're just playing our role, man. To be the righteous. And you're just playing the role of being the wicked, man. But wickedness is esteemed in this world. And righteousness isn't. You can make us try and make us look as bad as you want, man. It ain't gonna mean a damn thing at the end of it. Cause it's us that's gonna come out on top. This is um second Ezra's. Uh, chapter 15 verse 3 it says they fear not the imaginations against thee let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee okay that's you guys man speaking against us okay we don't fear you man okay you think we can, we're gonna withdraw ourselves because you you got a bunch of fucking gang members Making fucking dumb videos, threatening our lives. You think that's gonna somehow make us run away? Don't be so fucking stupid, man. You know you 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 surely can't think it'll be that fucking easy, man. Like I said, man, if you roll up February eighth or any day that you fucking quoted to them guys, any of these guys to do something. Just know it's a big fucking mistake, man. Okay? The fear of the Lord come upon you, man. And destroy you. Okay? We ain't afraid of you, man. We'll take death if it means it. Okay? But just know the Heavenly Father is, is, is with us, man. And then whatever you do to us, whatever you imagine against us, man, the Lord will come and recompense that. Okay, that's why we don't fear, man, because we, at the end of the day, it's us, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, that's going to get the victory. Ain't you guys, man. You're, gonna, you're all going to get put to death. Okay, and there's no reward in that death, man. This is First Kings, chapter 19. Verse 14. It says here, and he said, I have been very jealous for the Lord God of hosts, because the children of Israel have forsaken thy covenant, thrown thine, thine, down thine altars, and slain thy prophets with the sword. And I, even I only, am left, and they seek my life to take it away. Okay, like I said, you're, you're seeking to take our lives away, man. Cause you you are, you a carnal ass nigga, man. Okay, pure and simple. Okay. But we're not afraid of that, man. If it has to be, it has to be, man. If it's not, you you gonna get as fucked up when you, when you if you decide to to roll on, on brothers in 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 America, man. You you'll be fucking dumb to do that. Okay, because like I said you're the you're you're you you're you're of the nation of Israel, man. Whether you 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 regard it or not, you are the children of Israel, man. Okay, but like I said, man, you just the wicked lot, the wicked two third of Israel, man. Okay, who don't care about the Lord, man? You don't care about their own people. Don't care about a damn thing, man. Except for the damn selves, man. 
This is Matthew chapter uh, chapter ten and twenty eight. And it says to him, Fear not them which killed the body, but are not able to kill the soul. But rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. Okay? So don't fear the carnal man. Don't fear the fleshly man. Okay, he's only able to kill the body, man. If he is allowed to, okay, by the Heavenly Father. Because everything has to be ordained by the Heavenly Father, man. You can't do a damn thing which has not been ordained by the Heavenly Father, man. Okay? You need permission, okay? But not, don't fear the carnal man that can only kill the body, man. Okay, but fear the Heavenly Father who can destroy both the soul and the body, man. Okay, and that's something you guys don't do. You don't fear the Heavenly Father, man. If he really wants you, man, he can erase you out of existence. And he can make you go to fucking hell. Okay, but you don't fear that. Okay, you think because you could take someone's life, man, that you, you have some sort of power, man. But it ain't nothing. Okay. Just don't piss the most off, man, because he may decide to do something terrible to your ass, man. Everyone has to pay for 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 their actions, man. Right, this is uh, Second Ezra chapter one, verse thirty-two. He says, I have sent unto you my servants the prophets whom ye have taken and slain and torn their bodies in pieces whose blood I will require at your hands saith the Lord okay but like I said there's consequences to to everybody's actions man if you want to do something stupid like touch the Lord's anointed then the Lord will surely come for you man it ain't a fucking joke Zechariah chapter 7 verse 8 And the word of the Lord came unto Zechariah saying Thou speaketh the Lord of hosts saying Execute true judgment and shew mercy and compassion to every man to his brother Oppress not the widow nor the fatherless the stranger nor the poor And let none of you imagine evil against your brother in your heart But they refused to hearken and pulled away the shoulder and stopped their ears That they should not hear Yea they made their hearts as adamant stone Lest they should hear the law Okay, polite, offended by the law of the Heavenly Father, man. He don't agree with it. He don't think we should be serving a God like that. Well, guess what, nigga? It's not a damn choice, man. There's only one God on this earth, man, and it's, it's, it's in your best interest to do as he fucking says. Okay, you ain't, you ain't not have no fucking choices, man. You, the only choice you got is obey the Heavenly Father or die, man. Okay, and I ain't got a problem with the Most High's law, man. It's righteous. Okay, it's righteous, man. And I ain't got a problem with it, but it's because you're unrighteous in, 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 in the heart that is a problem, man. Okay, because you're just another product of Satan. Okay, because that's what you guys are, man. You're the damn devil too, man, with the so-called white man. Okay. It says, lest they should hear the law and the words which the Lord of hosts have sent in his spirit by the form of prophets. Therefore came a great wrath from the Lord of hosts. Because you refuse to hear, okay, and you seek and you seek to do the prophet's harm, and the great wrath will come upon you, man. Right, it's First Chronicles chapter sixteen and chapter twenty, and it says here, when they went from nation to nation, from one king to another people, he suffered no man to do them wrong. Yea, he reproved kings for their sakes, saying, touch not mine anointed, and do my prophets no harm. Okay, the Lord protects these, the men of the Lord, man. Okay, like I said, man, it would be a, a stupid notion to come roll upon the brothers, man, to do them something. Okay. Like I said, man, if it be that the brothers, certain brothers are put to death, then so be it. Okay, they will take death cheerfully. Okay, 
But just know that the Lord, if the Lord doesn't want them to be harmed, they won't be harmed, man, and you will get put to death. Okay, in some form or another, you will get put to death, man. You might not even get the chance to roll up on on February 8th, man. You may get to put to death before then. Most I might come and visit you and put your asses to death. Have you have you end up in a freak car accident or some shit? You no. Know? Or you know, ravaging dogs, man. Who knows how the most I'm gonna take you out, man? Okay, but just know it's coming. Okay, we don't have to, we don't, we don't have to do a damn thing. Okay, we don't have to do a damn thing, man. The most I'm gonna take care of you, 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 you fucking scum, man. You and you and your, all your fucking gangs, man. You, you, you all get put to death, man. It's ain't a fucking joke. It says, for great is the Lord, and greatly to be praised. He is to be feared above all gods. For all the gods of the people are idols, but the Lord made the heavens. Okay, so there ain't nobody else, man. There ain't no, no power that you're rolling with that is greater than the Heavenly Father, man. It don't fucking exist. Okay? The most high is the ultimate king, the ultimate judge, with the ultimate power. Okay? You move to his sound, his beat. This is Jeremiah chapter 26, verse 5. Says to hearken to the words of my servants, the prophets, whom I sent unto you, both rising up early and sending them, but ye have not hearkened. Then will I make this house like Shiloh, and will make this city a curse to all nations of the earth. So the priests and the prophets and all the people heard Jeremiah speaking these words in the house of the Lord. Now it came to pass when Jeremiah had made an end of speaking that all the all that the Lord had commanded him to speak unto all the people, that the priests and the prophets and all the people took him, saying, Thou shalt surely die. Because I didn't like what Jeremiah said unto them, man. To his own people. Okay? So we, like I said, we get on the heathen, we get on the so-called white man. But we get on our people too, man. Okay? Because two-thirds of our, of our nation is wicked, man. And they have to be condemned and judged too. Okay? It says, Why hast thou prophesied in the name of the Lord, saying, This house shall be like Shiloh, and this city shall be desolate without an inhabitant? And all the people were gathered against Jeremiah in the house of the Lord. Okay, next verse. When the princes of Judah heard these things, then they came up from the king's house unto the house of the Lord and sat down in the entry of the new gate of the Lord's house. Then spake the princes and the prophets unto the princes and to all the people, saying, This man is worthy to die, for he hath prophesied against this city, as ye have heard with your ears. Okay, like I said, we bring judgment on our own people, man. Trayvon Martin, Mike Brown, they're all products of this world man okay which is wicked okay that's why the most I had them put to death man because they were wicked okay just like Jeremiah's prophesying against Judah okay because they're, they're, they're being wicked man okay so they spake Jeremiah unto all the princes and to all the people saying the Lord sent me to prophesy against this house and against this city and the words that ye have heard Therefore now amend your ways and your doings, and obey the voice of the Lord your God, and the Lord will repent him of the evil that he hath pronounced against you. As for me, behold, I am in your hand, do with me as seem of good and meet unto you. But know ye for certain, that if you put me to death, ye shall surely bring innocent blood upon yourselves, and upon this city, and, the, and upon the inhabitants thereof. For of a truth, the Lord hath sent me unto you to speak all these words in your ears. Right, that was it. No, like I said, these these are messages, man, to 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 polite man, okay, in his foolishness. Okay, you don't know what he's a, what he's trying to do, man. What he's about to do upon himself if he goes through with this fucking madness, man. But the Lord will comfort you, man. Make no mistake. 